Hello, 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 Facebook, hello, my favorite people, hello, how are you today? Hello, 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 <laughs> how is everybody? Hello, you guys. Let me know if you're here. Throw something in the little chat. Say, hey, what's happening? It is Wednesday. Wednesday. Wacky Wednesday. Can you guys whistle? I was just whistling earlier and I thought, I wonder if you guys can whistle. I'm going to, um, you, you try it with me. Let's whistle. Uh, what's the song we all know? Twinkle, twinkle. Ready? One, two, three. Are you still going? Good job. Okay, you guys, we're just going to get right into it because I have two, obviously, what I think are awesome books. So I'm excited to share them with you. My first one and one of my faves, Freckle Face Strawberry. Do you guys have any freckles? I don't really have any freckles, but I, th I think freckles are so cute. I remember being younger and oh, I always wanted freckles. But this is Freckle Face Strawberry and it's by Julian Moore and it's illustrated by Lee Yuen Pham. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who was just like everybody else. She was seven. Look, I lost another tooth. She was short. Just like me. <laughs> she could ride a bike. Not me. She was just like everybody else, except for one thing. She had red hair something worse. Freckles! Her father didn't have freckles. Her mother didn't have freckles. Her sister didn't have freckles. Her baby brother? Oh yeah, he had freckles. But he was just a baby. People always had something to say about her freckles. Hey, what happened to you? You look like you're, you're dotted. If you got more freckles, you would be one big freckle. And that would be tan. Does it hurt? You look dirty. You look like a giraffe, but a shorter one with freckles. Can I smell them? But most of the time, they just said, Freckle Face Strawberry. Freckle Face Strawberry felt really bad. She needed to get rid of her freckles fast. Oh, other way, with a star. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> she tried scrubbing them. Get out of the bathroom. She tried a lemon juice. You smell funny. She even tried markers, but her mom got mad. I told you to never draw on yourself. Am I in makeup? Nothing worked. If she couldn't make her freckles go away, she would just have to hide. It worked. All of her freckles were gone. It worked so well, she started wearing it to school. It worked so well, nobody said anything about her freckles anymore. It, wor it worked so well, none of her friends knew where she was. Have you seen her? She's short and she can ride a bike. She has freckles all over her body. Freckle Face Strawberry was kind of sad and hot and a little itchy. After school at the playground, she was lonely. Everybody was playing except for Freckle Face Strawberry. She was sitting in the shade, wishing she wasn't so hot. Somebody tugged on her shirt. Mama! It was a baby. Freckle Face Strawberry knew about babies because of her little brother. Don't bug me, baby. Mama! I said don't bug me, baby. Mama! All right, I'm, wah! All right, I'm pretty hot. The baby started to laugh. She laughed and laughed and laughed. Hey, what's so funny? Freckles, she loves freckles. She thinks they're funny. <laughs> You're not, they're not, I should know. I know how you feel. I'm covered in them. I can't see any, I know. Mine kind of went away a little when I grew up. I bet yours will too. Whatever. 
She was just glad she wasn't hot, so hot anymore. Or itchy. Suddenly, Freckleface Strawberry heard some familiar voices. Freckleface Strawberry, go down the slide with me. Freckleface Strawberry, you have to meet a new girl. She wears a ski mask all the time. Freckleface Strawberry, were you sick? Freckleface Strawberry, we missed you. Freckleface Strawberry smiled so wide. She thought she would crack open. She wasn't hot. She wasn't itchy. And she wasn't sad anymore. Who cared about having a million freckles when she had a million friends? And maybe that mom was right. And her freckles would go away a little. And Freckle Face Strawberry really was like everybody else. She grew up and her freckles did not go away. But somehow she didn't care so much after all. In fact, she lived happily ever after. I don't see any freckles. Are you sure? Isn't that one? No, that's just a speck of dirt. <laughs> the end. So kind of silly, huh? She was worried about those freckles, but you know what? That's what makes us us and unique. We don't all want to be the same or look the same. Right? That would just be boring. We don't want to be boring. I have one more quick book for you. And I think this one is a cute one, too. Two for me, one for you. I like that idea, huh? Do you like that idea? No, you don't like that? I like that idea. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> it's by George Moore. On her way home, Bear found three mushrooms. Weasel was very excited. He wiped the mushrooms, seared them, seasoned them with plenty of salt and pepper, and let them simmer in the frying pan with a little parsley. Bear dished up one mushroom for you and one mushroom for me, she said, and another mushroom for me. That's fair. I'm big, so I need to eat a lot. Weasel did not agree. One mushroom for me, and one mushroom for you, and another one for me. That's fair. I'm small, and I still have to grow. One for you, two for me. That's fair, because I found the mushrooms. That's not fair at all. You brought them to home to me, and I did all the work. I wiped the mushrooms and seared them with, and seasoned them and simmered them in a heavy pan with parsley. But you used my recipe. And I set the table. And anyway, I like mushrooms much more than you do, said Bear. Mushrooms are my absolute all-time number one food. And I'm so hungry. You can hear my stomach grumbling. Wait! I'm much bigger than you, so my hunger is bigger. My stomach's been grumbling so long, it's gone croaky. But I said first that my stomach grumbling. But I said I wanted the extra mushroom first. One mushroom less won't hurt you. Too many mushrooms aren't good for a little weasel or for fat bears. Okay, that does it. Two for me, one for you, and that's it. In that case, you're not my friend anymore. Look at the pictures. What do you see? Hey! Bear and Weasel were stunned. The cheek of it, they shouted, totally unfair. Can you believe it? He just swiped our mushroom. But then they wished each other bon appetit. The mushrooms tasted wonderful. There was even dessert. Wild strawberries, cried Bear, delighted. My absolute, all-time, number one favorite food. Weasel dished them up. How many strawberries do we see? Uh -oh. The end. What do you think happened? I think the same thing happened with the, mu with the mushrooms. Who likes mushrooms? Raise your hand. I tried. I tried to like them. I'm not sure I'm there yet. 
but I will say I love strawberries like a whole, whole bunch. I could eat strawberries. Oh, strawberries dipped in chocolate. Oh, strawberries dipped in. Have you ever dipped a strawberry in some sugar? <gasps> strawberry arrange over cake. Oh, <laughs> the list goes on and on and on, and it's so exciting. And so basically, I just love strawberries. Okay. Okay. Well, with that, you guys, a uh, super cool message. Summer reading coming live statewide. Statewide. Oh. <laughs> Statewide summer reading kickoff is going to be the first week of June. That's when we will start too. And we will go through the entire month of June with super fun things. We're going to be reading. We're going to be doing crafts, experiments. You know, we're going we're going all out, kiddos. So it'll be lots and lots of fun. More information will be coming out next week. Every day as we kind of get a little bit more going on with it. So stay tuned for all of that. And with that, I bid you an adieu. And I will see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock for some more stories. All right, you guys, be kind.